um, this is my first ever um, video blog. I um, you've probably seen my other videos online, uh, basically about um, my daughters. Um, so I put in my profile information on the side um, that we were expecting another baby and that we were pregnant. Uh, so somebody asked me if I would give a video update. So I figured, why not? Although this is kind of weird for me. So anyhow, if I'm rambling or act nervous or fidgety, you know, it's, it's just me. So anyhow, let me give a little bit of a, a background information for anybody who doesn't really know. Um, I got pregnant for the first time in <clears throat> May of 2007. And we were due to deliver our first daughter on February 4th of 2008. Well, we were having some growth issues while I was pregnant. Um, Carly was um, falling behind at my 18 week ultrasound. She was only measuring at 16 weeks. Um, she had a two vessel cord um, and they noticed that she had a brain defect. Um, the corpus callosum, which is the part that connects the right side to the left side of the brain, the part in the middle, um, it was actually missing. Um, there was actually no evidence, no trace of it whatsoever. So um, she had that going on. Um, also, her head was larger than her body. Um, and, you know, it continued at that rate as she grew. Her head grew and her body kind of stayed really small. So um, eventually she was kind of stressed out about 28 weeks. And out, I went for my uh, follow-up ultrasound after I had an amniocentesis to um, rule out any genetic disorders. And um, that came back clear, but um, at 28 weeks, 3 days, she was um, measuring behind still, and she had something called reverse end diastolic flow. It's basically where the placenta was taken away from her as opposed to giving to her. Um, so they went ahead and put me in for an emergency C-section, and she was delivered on November 7th, oh, I'm sorry, excuse me, on November um, 15th of 2007. And, um, excuse me. She weighed um, 13 ounces and she was um, 10 inches long. And she lived in the NICU for six days shy, no, five, five days shy of um, four months. Um, we thought she was going to come home, but she got really sick one day and um, she, uh, you know, she just wasn't, wasn't feeling good. She didn't look good. Something just wasn't right with her. And, um, Eventually, her, her oxygen needs and things went up, and uh, they had to take her back to the NICU out of the progressive care nursery, and um, they found a heart defect, and it was only hours after the heart defect was found that she passed away. It was something that couldn't be fixed. Basically, one side of her heart grew while the other side stayed really small, and it caused her to go into pulmonary hypertension, and it basically took her life. So, that was kind of hard, and then after, um, about a month after she passed away, um, Ryan and I, my husband, um, we decided that we wanted to go ahead and get pregnant again. So we tried, and the very first try, we got pregnant, and um, I was kind of surprised about that. But um, well, Carly was kind of a an oops. We weren't trying to get pregnant with her, but um, she was very wanted. And then um, so anyhow, we tried to get pregnant with Hannah. We got pregnant on the first try, and. Um, Everything was going good, you know, she didn't have any birth defects that were uh, noted on any ultrasounds. Um, she was growing good, um, my belly was getting larger. Um, I did come down with gestational diabetes uh, at 30 weeks or 28 weeks, whenever they did it. Um, so, I mean, that was okay. I was following a good diet and my sugars were good. Um, but anyways, at my, um, I guess it was my 20 week ultrasound or my... 21st, 20 week, first week ultrasound, um, she was measuring a week behind. I was really concerned and I, I you know, I, I told the ultrasound tech, I said, you know, I'm really concerned that she's behind. I said, my first daughter was getting behind, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, she said, oh, it's okay if it's not two weeks behind and we don't worry about it. And so, anyhow, 28 weeks come along and she just really isn't moving right. Or at least it doesn't seem like it. It seems like it's kind of more tightening in my stomach, so to say, and um, anyhow, my doctor, who was kind of a wacko, so that's a whole other story, um, he told me it was her moving, and that, you know, that was normal at 28 weeks, you know, she's running out of room, and 
I wouldn't feel her very much. So anyhow, this kept going on for the remainder of the pregnancy and at 32 weeks, I went to visit my brother um, down in Fayetteville at the coast of North Carolina and um, anyhow, Hannah was moving that day that I was there and then I went to sleep that night and she had the hiccups so I went to sleep feeling that, that was kind of neat. And um, I woke up and I kept feeling this pressure down really low and um, I guess I thought I felt her, I don't know if I felt her move or if I didn't feel her move that day. I was so busy traveling home and just getting things ready. I was actually making um, a sling to carry her in when she was born. and so. Come time for bed, I was just like, you know, I really don't think I felt her move in a long time, so um, I drank coffee. I was doing anything I could just to get her to move, moving around, touching my stomach, and nothing would happen. So we went to the hospital and went to labor and delivery, and sure enough, she had passed away. And what the doctor told me was her movements around 28 weeks was nothing more than me contracting. So I had been contracting on a normal basis since 28 weeks. So, anyhow, long story short, I had an autopsy done on her. Um, she come back free of any genetic disorders, and um, she um, was even further behind in growth than my 20-week ultrasound when I had already told them that I was concerned. Um, at 32 weeks, two days, she was 2 pounds, 15 ounces. She was actually the size of a 27-week baby. Um, so, that being said, I should have been followed with more ultrasounds. They didn't do it. Um, they said my fundal height was normal, but obviously Hannah wasn't the right size. Um, so I could go off on a whole other story with that too, but um, it's hard to lose one child, let alone two. And um, so anyhow, basically I said, oh, I'm never going to get pregnant again. I'm not going to do this to myself. I'm not going to do this to Ryan. I'm not going to do this to my family. And um, Excuse me, I'm getting a little choked up, but I don't mean to. Um, but anyhow, you know, we just, I just said, no, I'm not going to do this. So the next thing I started to do was to look into adoption. And, um, well, I kept looking at it. I was getting a little frustrated because the adoption prices aren't cheap. I mean, it's like they're selling babies. I mean, it's expensive. And, I mean, granted, we could swing it if we had to. We would pull money from God knows where, but, you know, we would figure a way to take loans out or do something. But it was really frustrating, and I just don't want to think about it anymore. Um, I had spoke to my maternal fetal medicine doctor, and he told me basically that I could try again if I wanted to. And I had complications with my last pregnancy with Hannah. I had placenta and creta. That's where the placenta tries to grow through the wall of the uterus. So... He told me it's a possibility that I could have it again, and it's a possibility that I could have a hysterectomy because of it, but, you know, losing my uterus is, is just a risk I think I'm going to have to take um, to have another baby because, I mean, I'll, there's nothing like having a child of your own to love. Um, granted, lots of babies need to be adopted, but it's, I think it's just... Um, natural for somebody to want a child of their own. So anyhow, I wanted to get pregnant um, basically right away and Ryan, he wasn't ready to get pregnant so I said, okay, well I'll wait. And So I was on birth control and that made me kind of wacky. I just don't do birth control very well. Birth control made me feel more pregnant than being pregnant makes me feel. So um, anyhow, uh, I came off the birth control in, in April and I stayed off the birth control. Um, and we used condoms so that we wouldn't get pregnant. And um, although that was not my choice, I would have soon just got pregnant right then. Um, but, you know, that's not fair to, to Ryan. He also has uh, emotional things that he was trying to get through. Um,